I'm going to be showing you how you can download custom firmware onto any model of 3DS in 10 minutes. This guide works on every model of the 3DS, so don't worry. I'm going to be using a new 3DS XL in this video, but you can use any model 3DS. And before we move on to the video, please consider subscribing and drop a comment below if this guide was helpful for you. Before we move on, this guide can be done both on Windows and Mac, just follow the steps later on. I'll be using the MSET 9 3DS Hex guide and I recommend following both the video and the guide. And now to set up the terminal, download the latest version of Python in the description as well as all the files needed for modding. Everything you need is just in the description and I'll be using a Japanese 3DS in the guide but all steps are same for all regions. For this guide you'll be using a micro SD card, you can also use this normal SD adapter if you're using the 3DS or 3DS XL models but we'll be using this micro SD card and you need a micro SD card or SD card adapter to your computer a standardized screwdriver and your console. Now before we begin, go to system settings and we're going to make sure if your console is up to date. So this part is really important. Update your console to the latest firmware. As you can see, this one is not the latest firmware. It should say 11.17.050J. It should say EU. It matters on your region, but these numbers are important. So this console is not up to date. So let's update it. Okay, now that our 3DS has completed its software, just click OK and it should reset to the home menu. Now that we have upgraded our system to date, plug in your SD card to your computer and let's begin. Now first insert your SD card into your computer and format it. And you need to format it for FAT32 default, so just format it over here. After you formatted your SD card, go ahead and click eject and insert your SD card back into your console. Use your standardized screwdriver to open the 3DS XL's back shell. and turn on your console. Now you should see this icon pop out and this is important because we're creating the Nintendo 3DS file in the SD card. So power off your console and insert your SD card back into your computer. After you insert your SD card, you should see this Nintendo 3DS file pop up and this means that we're good to go. Now for the next step, go to the link in the description and download this mset9.zip file. Now after it has been downloaded, open your file and you should see all the files that we'll be needing. So click shift and copy all your files into the root of your SD card like this. Now, after you copy all the files, since I'm doing this exploit on Windows, so open this mset9.windows command. And if you're on Mac, you can use this one, but I'm gonna be using the Windows one. Now, this step is different from all the other consoles that we'll be using. So since I'm using the new 3DS XL, I'll be entering two, but if you're using the old 3DS models, you can click one. All these other steps are exactly the same, just this step is different for every time. So I'm going to click 2 and we're going to create a hacker ID over here and click 1 again. And it says created hacker ID and press enter to exit and put your SD card back into your device. Now after you reinsert your SD card into your computer, go over to MeMaker. And there should be a pop-up icon, like this one. It's in Japanese, but it should be the same in English. And if you just boot it up here, it means the necessary data has already been created. So don't worry if you don't see the pop-up. So go to the home menu, go over to system settings, and close MeMaker, that's all right. Now, since our system is up to date, go to data management, and go to Nintendo 3DS. It should say software over here, so click here. And click the reset button. I promise you it's all the same in English, so just repeat the steps and click OK. And you can now close your console and insert your SD card back into your computer. After you insert your SD card, open the mset9.windows command. Click 2 or your the number corresponding to your console. Click 2. The state should say that the current MSET 9 state is ready. So next is checking the MSET status, press 2 and it should say all three of them should be okay. Then press enter to exit and put your SD card back into your console. After you turn on your console, it should say it's on system settings, but if it's not on system settings, just move over to the system settings and just close it and reopen your console. It should open by default on system settings. and go over to data management nintendo 3ds and it should say extra data over here just click that and you should see the me maker icon over here without doing anything or pressing any buttons remove your sd card straight from your console 
Now insert your SD card back into your computer without touching any buttons. Now this step is really important, go to the MSET 9 windows, click 2 or the number corresponding to your console, and press 3 to inject the trigger file. And it should say the MSET 9 successfully injected, and press enter to exit and put your SD card back into your console. Now without pressing any buttons, lift up your console and install your SD card directly into the console. Very carefully. And if it was successful, it should boot up straight into this menu. Now there is the off chance that you did something wrong here. The console might go into an infinite loading screen. Just force shut the console by holding the power button down and try again from the start of the video. Try updating your console or input the correct number on the panel. And press the combination. Up and A. Let's see here. Yes. Firm. Now, if your exploit was successful, you should have boot up into the Luma menu. As you can see, it's 13.3.3 for the date that I'm doing this. So it could be lower and it could be more according to if they updated it. So, but for now, don't touch anything here. Just go over to save and exit. And after this, you should directly boot up into the home menu. There we go. So now you've technically installed custom firmware, but we need to install the homebrew app. So let's do that. Power off your console and insert your SD card back into your computer. Now this step is really important. You have to remove the trigger file that we just triggered. So click onto MSET 9 Windows, click the number corresponding to your console, and it says say injected. So we have to remove this trigger file. If you don't do this step, your 3DS might crash unexpectedly, so it's not fun. So this step is really essential. Click 4. So it should say remove trigger file and after that it should put you in this menu and it should say remove trigger file and remove the M set so press 5 and remove this and it should say successfully remove the M set 9 so press enter to exit. So after you remove the M set 9 command so you need to download two files one is the finalized roms and x finalized helper .fer. So to download those, go into the links in the description. So you should see both of them installed over here. So what you're going to do is take finalized ROMs and copy it to the root of your SD card. There you go. And go to the Luma folder, go to payloads and copy the X finalize helper command to directly to the payloads folder. And after that, remove your SD card and put it back in your console. So after you copied both those folders to the root of your SD card, what you're going to do is do left shoulder button, D-pad down and click select and it should boot you into the Rosalina menu. Go to miscellaneous options, click dump DSP firmware, and it should say that it should it was successful, press B. Then go to nullify user time offset, click A, and it should say operation succeeded, then press B to return to the Rosalina menu, press B again, and then press B again. So now that you did those options from the Rosalina menu, go ahead and power off your console. and wait for it to power it on. Now press X and power on your console again. You should boot into the God Mode menu over here and it's gonna download a couple things. Don't press anything, just let it download. And it should say backups not found. Just create one and continue and set the date and time. And I'm going to set it to 2025, September the 14th. There you go. Now, after you configured the date of time, you should see this menu, press the home button, and it should give you to the action menu, go to scripts, and click finalize. And click if you're okay with this, and unlock this, and click the key combo. So this step, so it's downloading all the custom firmware homebrew apps. So this could take a couple of minutes, so but like I said, it's, it's going to take like 5-10 minutes. So wait for this and I'll be back when it's done. To say setup complete, after this copy all the files in the SD card to your computer as a backup and power on your console. Now after you power on your console, you should see the homebrew apps all downloaded in your home menu. So let's see. And there we go, you have successfully downloaded custom firmware onto your 3DS. These are all the homebrew apps that you'll be using, so go ahead and open them. And we've come to the end of our guide. Please comment below if you have any questions, and look out for future videos on what you can do with your modded 3DS.